Love and hate can never be friends. Oh no, oh no. Did this to get back at him, and it fucking hit me back. Karma is a bitch, y'all. Don't try to hurt people. Hurt people, hurt people, but don't do it because it's going to come back to you. Now my life is completely... I got to get it back up, y'all. So me sharing this with you guys is basically to help you not to make the same mistakes as me. Don't try to hurt people that hurt you. Just live your life with the purest like heart ever. Being evil to others won't do shit for you. In a call, Narc Busters. Yep. Here I come with love and not hatred. What I'm here for, I'm a narc freaking a narc buster. Hey y'all, this video is being made in conjunction with the Fair Use Act. You guys, I uh, will show you proof on how the conversation started. The only reason that me and her went back and forth and my son was brought up was because I brought up Lovely T um, sickle cell comment that she made that I felt was offensive. I Welcome. Tonight I am here to discuss a topic that is hot in the streets right now. Somebody that I dedicate this song to. This is dedicated to Tasha K. Unwind with Tasha K. Now, Tasha, you say that you're a journalist. I don't know if you went to school for it, but there are a lot of mistakes that you made, and I wanted to make this video to call them out. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Allegedly, this video will prove that Tasha K is not the only celebrity narcissist in the mind of Sweet Mom for Life. Expressing how I feel about you as a person because I believe that you indeed are a narcissist. I talk about narcissism on my channel all the time. It took me a while to realize that's what you were, but I have all the proof and I'm going to put it together so that other people can understand exactly what I mean when I express that. You are a narcissist. Whew, girl. Now let me read this to you. Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. Before Sweet Ma gets into reading Tasha, 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 let me just say this is correspondence between her and I on a video I uploaded, I believe, November 5th. And if you can go to the video called Tasha K, Wine With Words, and One Crazy Night, you will actually get to read this, or you can read it here. Um, you know, sometimes it looks distorted on my timeline. Um, hopefully the words will show up for you. But you definitely can go there and read that video. Let me know what you think about that video and this comment between her and I. Um, leave your comments down below. And this is the only reason... I was made aware of who Sweet Ma was prior to me doing these videos. She came and commented on one of my videos. And during that exchange, she's never came back. So people will look at people the way they want to see them. She may look at me as a narc because I don't vibe with her. You'll hear her say that in one of these videos. And I say because of the spirit and the light that's in me of the Most High God will keep people um, running and fleeing when no one is pursuing them. Like Proverbs 28 and 1 says, the wicked man flee when no one pursues them. So even after he left me, I still helped him. So when Kali says that Nas did what he did to her and she still invited him over for Thanksgiving, 
I understood and I could relate. That's why I believe that Khalees is a true empath, not a narcissist, right? Then we have that moment when we are obsessing over narcissism to where we're like Googling every day, um, YouTubing videos, binge watching these videos, right? That's what I did. I hate to admit it, y'all, but I put in here the amount of videos I kind of scroll through. And if you're led by the Holy Spirit, you don't spend a lot of time watching all of these videos. You say, Lord, show me where the tea is. Show me what I need. Give me something out of this video that I can compile on top of what I already have to try to make my case here and you'll be surprised you know you will open up a book and your answer will be there you'll turn on the TV and you'll hear somebody say your response or the or the response you need you you um, go to work turn on the radio listen to a child whatever God has for you to hear at that moment in time it's not a lot of work to get to it. You pretty much click on a video, start going through the timeline, and voila, I was able to compile a lot of information, you guys, about not only her um, alleged relationship with Tasha K, but her out in Clarence, NYC, her having a, a problem with Nature Boy, and then, you know, I started going back to some videos that was really, really dark, so I climbed out the rabbit hole. As this video progressed, you will hear some fantasies, some realities, and then just some things that don't make sense. Shoot, I hope one day I have a fine ass husband. <laughs> anyway, right there. As an empath, no matter what the narc did to me, I always was kind to him. I always lended out a helping hand to this mother effort. He left me when I was five months pregnant. I was devastated. And I don't know if I ever made a video about this, but he broke up with me. He told um, my family he doesn't want to be with me. I cried too much and they were like, she's emotional, she's pregnant. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Well, he didn't say that. He says he doesn't care. He just doesn't want to be with me. And they were like, but she does everything for you. She bought you a car, she did this, she put a roof over your head, and he's like, I don't want to be with her, so they're over here trying to convince him to stay with me, and he said, he's done, the same day he decided to leave me, he ended up getting arrested, mm, he gets arrested, right, so $5,000 down the drain, I cried not really because I wanted him back in my life it was because I was like oh my child is not gonna have a dad when I'm when I have my baby he's not gonna be around so guess what my dumb empathetic ass did I bonded him out with promises that he would pay me back which he never did yeah empath All right, this is going to be the last one I play. Here we go. So recently I interviewed Jennifer Lewis, and she was she was describing a narcissist, and she said they have no feelings. They care no. about nobody. I, it's so crazy that is you say true? that. I mean, they have, like, a really dear friend of mine is going through a very similar situation, and she sent me this thing, and she was like, look up narcissist. And I was like, <gasps> Do they know him? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that is who I married. I mean, like, word for word, like, it's terrifying. And it's because they have no, like, she said, no emotion, no empathy. They don't care about it. Well, you can't, they have no empathy to the point where, like, the scariest thing ever is, like, I'll call him and literally, like, tell him, like, this happened, this is exactly what happened. Not my feelings about it, not my thing, like, these are the actual actions, these are the facts that happened. And he's like, no. No, it didn't. No. It's because they have an, 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 an like insane ability to believe what they want to be true. So he just had this, we were just talking about on Hollywood like this, 
big success with Ring and this, um, I, I guess, um, Amazon had purchased it for a lot of Okay, guys. That's about it. If you want to finish listening to the interview, listen to it in full. Go. Hollywood Unlocked. Okay. Just Google Khalees interview. Because of all this that was said and because I could relate to Khalees 100%, I felt like she and truly is the victim. But then... After reading the comments from that um, particular YouTuber, I was stuck because a nurse, narcissist is very charming. A narcissist is very smart. A narcissist is a chess player, a freaking professional chess player. So what are your plans for the new year? I don't plan to do much, but just to leave Tasha K back in 2018. I'm just done with her know, bullshit. that's right, girl. She done drained the shit out of me and a lot of other people. We could go on and on and on, yeah. point out all her lies, but it's not even worth it. It's not. But I will say one thing. I learned how to play chess. <laughs> just to that. Checkmate, bitch. I would binge watch these narcissistic videos in front of my ex to the point where he was paying attention okay and i would accuse him of being a narc yeah not only her ex boyfriends but like i said clarence um there's nature boy and this is all on her page if you want to go over there and look at this just remember that right back daddy <laughs> anyway before I start this video, I want to say that no weapon against me shall prosper. Anybody that has any type of bad juju coming my way or any bad thoughts or wishes, wishes towards me for my downfall, right back at you, baby. It's not going to happen. I'm protected. Okay, and I believe that there's nobody in this world, nobody in this world that was built like me, that bleeds like me, um, needs air to breathe like me, that can ever harm me. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there will be people that, you know, wish so much bad on you that they'll, they'll come and murder you. <laughs> you can't, um, you can't escape something like that but at the end of the day like anybody that has any bad wishes towards me it's not gonna work just remember that whatever it is that you wish against me will come right back to you sweetie sir whoever so I'm gonna start by um, I would like to share an experience with you but so I'm gonna say as much as I can So I felt comfortable enough to share my life with them, right? And for whatever reason, they always turn out to be the opposite of what they portray. They always turn out to be evil. <laughs> if you're watching this video, I could give two fucks. I'm just saying. But most likely, you're not going to watch. So I'm going to say as much as I can. Um, but again, like I said, I am protected by God. So whatever you wish, evil you wish, it will not work. So, you know, us depressed, empathetic, codependent people whoever watches my videos that can relate to my situation obviously you're watching because you can relate when you comment you express that to me whatever I share with you what I share and I'm not embarrassed I don't delete anything that I share um 
feel as if it's helping, so I, I share it. So I, so I come across a couple of people on YouTube daily that experience similar things, um, that seem to have knowledge, and I admire them, right? We all find somebody on YouTube that we can relate to or we admire or whatever. And um, I said, there, this person that I see is just so knowledgeable, so, I don't know, so wise. I want to get to know them. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Just because somebody um, comes on here and makes videos, that doesn't mean that is who they are, who they're portraying to be. Like even me, don't assume that I am this person when you meet me. I don't want you guys to be fooled. I'm not saying that I'm a fraud, but most of the people that you come across on here are fraudulent. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, you ever see somebody that started from the bottom on YouTube? Didn't have many followers and um, they were very open and sweet. And then once they start gaining popularity, they start to change. They start to um, be consumed by the money that they get off of YouTube and then you're just like, wait, this person used to be so down to earth and now all they rock is the name brand and they, you, you kind of feel like, excuse me, you're no longer on their, I don't know, I can't say level. You just no longer feel like you can relate to them because they've changed. Now, I don't even know why I brought that up, to be honest. I'm just saying, not everybody that you see on here is who they portray themselves to be. And I'm not saying for you to believe me. If you were to know me, you would know that this is me. Okay? I've been like this for years. If you followed me on YouTube since I started back in 06 or something. I'm, I'm similar. I've changed. I've grown. There are a lot of things that I will not do that I used to do. Things like possibly say she lost money so people will give her money. Um, she did like addressing assholes. Whoever they may be. Um, and just how she fell for Satan, her ex. What the hell? But it's all changed for the better. The growth is just literally growth. Like, I've become wiser. Um, and each time somebody hurts me and I'm left to be by myself, I feel like I grow even more. For those of you who do not know, this is a 666 hand sign and gesture that Satan used and maybe he's given her power. Like, you would assume that having friends and other... The group of people that I rock with, Mora, Nayrock, Bitter and Sweet, Camille, there were so many people requesting me. So anyway... Because I blocked about a couple of thousand of people. I didn't think Tasha K had that many um, supporters, but she does, okay? No hate to you, Tasha. You got supporters, I know this. But guess what? I got some too. <laughs> I don't have as many as you. A, a, good, a, like, a good amount of people to back you would make you stronger. But honestly, it doesn't. It's when you're left to be fending, fending for yourself is when you become strong. So, I met somebody off of 
the YouTube world. And if you're watching, I'm just going to say this. You're corny as fuck. Okay? Um, I met somebody, and yes, I sought out this person because I thought that this person was just such a wonderful, wonderful, like, human being. So I looked this person up on another social media site and we briefly became, I don't want to say friends because clearly I'm not a friend to this person. Um, we briefly became acquaintances. We would speak daily. And when I say speak daily, we will, or send videos daily. And it took me a while to say I should talk about this. When I say a while, just a couple of hours, I decided to talk about this because of something that just happened. I don't know when it happened. I think it happened today. because my empath senses were tingling. If you guys don't know what an empath is, please Google it. My gut speaks to me all the time and I don't listen to it. That's why my life has turned out to be what it is. Like a lot of times I go with my heart and not my gut. Go with your gut, not your heart, sweetie. Go with your gut. If your gut is telling you something, it's telling you that for a reason. That's God speaking to you somehow, some way. Okay, so my gut told me something today, and that's why I decided to share this. Okay, so I met this person, and, and this is another reason why I don't like sharing my social media outside of YouTube um, with just anybody. Like, if you inbox me and you ask me for my information, whatever, I'll give it to you, but I'll tell you, let me know who you are before I accept you or whatever. No problem, no biggie. So, this person in particular, I sought out and we became cool, I guess. We <laughs> You know, when you read in the magazines about, you know, her being celebrated, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. I think she's living my life. Um, and there she goes to win Miss America and she, I was just like, God, she's a friend in my head. We talk every single day, sending messages, sending um, videos. And I started to notice that this person who claims to be a very empathetic, caring, sensitive person was actually mean and cold. And if you don't think, it, that's if you're watching. I don't think you, 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 you made it past me saying that I'm protected. But if you are watching, I just want you to know how I feel about you. So, this person who I thought was such a great person makes videos as well talking about the same topics as I do. Y'all, you think you're in a community and you're safe because these people have gone through the same thing as you. Just because somebody's on here talking about narcissism and... Okay, this shit to get herself dirty. She just wanted to look pretty and narcissistic on a motherfucking day. For those that are quick to throw out the word narcissism, okay? I, I want people to truly look at the definition of narcissism, okay? Because a lot of people kind of get... Are, are, or are under the impression that being narcissist is like a bad thing. There are some good narcissists and there are some bad narcissists, okay? Because when you look at the definition of narcissism, let me get some goddamn wine, okay? They're about to work my nose tonight, goddamn it. <laughs> what is, ask, ask yourself, when you read the definition of narcissism, narcissism is a person that's always, you know, thinking about themselves, who values themselves, who put themselves above everybody else. What is wrong with that? 
What is wrong with that? Because somebody doesn't see themselves on the level as anybody else. And yes, they may have a bigger ego than most, but what is truly wrong with that, okay? Is there, because I know you always hear it all the time, you know, you should have health, high self-esteem. You should be, you know, grateful. You should be loving. But then when you have these celebrities like Tamar, like goddamn being abused and all that stuff, that does not mean that they're a good person and it does not mean that they were a victim. Sometimes narcissists find out what narcissism is and they'll reel you guys in, you know, us, make us think that they're good people just to fuck with our heads. That's what I think. But anyways, let me get to the point before the video time is up because I noticed that most of my videos are cut off at 20 minutes. So I was talking to this person daily, 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 daily. And this person would vent to me about things and people in their past and whatever they're going And I am protected. And the reason why I know that you deleted me is because I have a sec I'm sorry, when you fuck with me, the beast comes out, the truth comes out, and I'm spilling it now. Don't trust everybody that you see on YouTube claiming to be a good, empathetic person. Especially those that are asking for you to pay them for your questions to be answered. Can I return that money back to you? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I could go deeper into this and you could take whatever you want out of this um, because for some reason I feel like you are watching. You delete me off of social media and the reason why I know that you deleted me is because I have a second page. Yesterday I was on my page and I realized that I had 299 people following me and then all of a sudden today I only have 298. Something said it was you. I looked, it was you. I look on my main page and you removed yourself off of that as well. And I kept seeing your evil eyes and yes you do look evil. You don't look welcoming at all and I'm just saying this now because I kept feeling uneasy every time I would scroll down and look at your face because you are a true witch. Dear heart, smudging doesn't really work like that, okay? But I have a lot of my witch sisters that look out for me. I'll make sure they send you some help, okay, dear heart? We got you. It's coming. Help is on the way, all right? And I don't care if anybody thinks that I'm bugged out for sharing this. I'm not saying who the person is, but the person who did this to me, you know who the fuck you are. God, she's a friend in my head. And if you watch this far, just know, bitch, you are not an empath. You are a straight demon. Okay? And I am protected by God. So any type of juju you want to throw on me ain't gonna work, sweetie. It's not. If y'all want to put two and two together to figure out who the fuck I'm talking about, y'all hit me up and, and, and I'll say yes, I'll nod. <laughs> I just had to let that out because you clearly deleted me for a reason and I'm glad. You deleted me, bitch, I blocked you. Block. Y'all, the shit just got real. Tasha K got on her page and offered five hundred dollars for this. Like I need your support. Shit. Hurry up, get in the room. I need your support. I need your support. I need your support. No, 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 no. I, I need your support, Latasha. Keep you just put all my government information everywhere. I, no, no, I know I inserted myself. No, you don't tell me to hush. Latasha Kibi. Hey, posted all my personal information all over the internet. <sighs> Find it back, and I'm scared for my life. An asshole. Yeah. Huh. What? <laughs> years mm -hmm. when I say a couple of years I've been dealing with the narcissistic thing with my ex for a while and I found out about narcissism two years ago that's why I say a couple of years
Yeah. I didn't know about it before. I just thought people were assholes. And then when I talked to her about narcissism, she started seeing who's a narc, and she's able to tell who's a narc like this. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> I don't have to tell her nothing. They're everywhere. She knows who's it's a narc. so bad. I don't have to tell her a word. It's so bad how many there are. Preach, honey. I thought they was just assholes. They're more than assholes. Honey. Yeah. Hmm. What? My self-esteem has always been low from birth. Assholes. Mm -hmm. I'm too open and honest. My I gotta stop being so judgmental. Yeah, okay. of yourself. Yeah, of yourself too. You need to stop that. What I'm here for, I'm a narc freaking, a narc buster. <laughs> I'm a narc buster. Okay, so if you are dealing or you think you're dealing or you whatever, hit me up, I'll let you know. It's not that hard to figure out if it's a narc, okay? There are so many of them out here in the world that we just assume are assholes. We just assume are fucked up individuals, but they're really just narcissists that will never change. They don't have the ability to change because it is their personality. Narcissistic personality disorder. That's your personality, yeah. period. Cause she said, who are you going to call? Narc Busters. Yep. Boy in my head. And it's about <laughs> on my nature boy video. <laughs> Shalisa did not know this. I taught her about narcissism. And she started saying, oh my gosh, such and such is a narcissist in my family. Such and such, whatever. And I told yeah. her, and I said to her, I knew that already. Yeah. Now, if y'all thought things were bad between Tasha and Sweet Ma, oh my goodness. You guys have to go check out her um her video, Nature Boy is the Antichrist or something like that. The things that transpired between him and her is wow. All I can say is he cursed her out, blocked her, told her off as well. So there's a trend going on here, guys. And family, those that have been rocking with me, following me, new to me, old to me, you're going to hear in the upcoming segment how she's doing a video on Nature Boy but has Tasha K name in it. So this just does not go specific to Tasha K videos. She takes Tasha K wherever she go. And that's kind of scary. Energy. But she wasn't saying it in a bad way. She said you were doing it for the good of the great or something like that. We need people like you that's going to no. expose the truth. And I'm not done with her yet. The TKO is still no coming, y'all. The TKO yes, is coming. Are, so get ready for it. Okay? I, I needed a break like, from her okay. to get my are, mind like, straight. It's okay. Once I'm done with that TKO, I will never, unless she talks about disabled children again, I'll take a flight down to ATL and personally spit in her face. For real. Because you ain't going to talk about no um, special needs children. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No, ma'am. She asked him about having HIV in the baby, being sick. I really like her videos as well. And I like um, Nature Boy. Um, there's some channel called Nature Boy Reflection something. I got commercials on this. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I didn't know. Well, I'm happy. I'm very grateful. You remember that video, right? I almost was like, you know, I was there. And I little village. And you ended up sleeping with her. And now she's emaciated. Why do you think that we would think she's the one that had the HIV when she came? I think you infected her nature, boy. Because the changes didn't come until after she slept with you. Oh. Okay. It makes sense. This dude is beyond narc. He's beyond narc. He can't take any type of criticism. There's no such thing as HIV. HIV is all in the mind. It's all in the mind. 
So therefore, when he says he doesn't have it, he's not really lying because he told you already it's all in the mind. Get it? I want to ask you, Nature Boy, if I could ever ask you this question. When you were living in Babylon, were you diagnosed with HIV? That's what I want to know. Because now that you're living in the woods somewhere, in the dirt, not even living outdoors, you're living in a damn Airbnb. <laughs> Nicole, narcissistic behavior mixed with HIV and herpes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm sorry. It's not funny, but it's funny. And no disrespect to anybody that has herpes or HIV. This is not the point. We're not making fun of you. What we don't like is somebody that's openly <sighs> disclosing other people's statuses on Instagram and then lying and saying that never happened. But then when they prove that 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 message came from Narc Boy's mouth or his typing and it came from his real page. If you're saying that this woman had HIV when she came to your little village and you ended up sleeping with her and now she's emaciated, okay. not the nature boy. Nature boy, you know what he said to me today? I, I don't know if you caught it, but he said that I, he definitely infected all of them. And I think the men are infected too. I, yeah, they are. He said to me that I was talking to the likes of God. He hung up on me because I asked him and I tried to be polite. You know, I tried to fool him and come on and try to people say things about you, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. But one thing I did hear was that you are a narcissist. Are you a narcissist? And then he hung up on me and then he started going off saying that I'm dumb and I asked such a dumb question and I had the opportunity to talk to the, uh, to the likes of a God like him. And this is the dumb shit that I'm going to ask. And he kept saying that I was dumb. So I decided to make this live. <sighs> he needs to stop playing with God. Yes, he does. Yeah. He's definitely a clown, Nicole. That's how. Oh. Okay. It makes sense. This dude is beyond narc. He's beyond narc. He can't take any type of criticism. Even, listen, started the conversation by saying, no disrespect. And he goes, nah, nah. You come in here talking about no disrespect, that means you are going to be disrespectful. Or you are already being disrespectful. I was so confused. But like, okay, whatever. Narcs, I, I can't. Narc poop. Not proof, baby. Not proof. Okay, y'all. So we have another post here. And this one is pretty much saying Tasha K putting out her information. But um, Diane puts out her own information. She does have business cards floating around out there. And not only that, guy. I want... And not only that, guys, I want you to see in the next segment how the title is mentioned, Clearance NYC Using Queen Nyja, Narcissist, but it talks about Nature Boy. And Nature Boy's video, we saw it talked about Tasha K. But it strikes me a little funny, and I'm kind of marveled at the fact that when she does a Tasha K video, it talks directly to and about Tasha K. So I'm starting to see a pattern here. And isn't this called clickbait? When you have um, someone else's, you know, name and a title and it's not about that person. Okay, thank you very much. I understand doing recaps and, you know, synopsis in the beginning of the video about another video you probably did that ties into that video. But it just strikes me kind of strange that she would title this Clarence of New York, but definitely spends a lot of time talking about nature boys body part stay tuned we didn't spend the entire three hours yeah. talking about you know i thought that too sweet mom he posted his and he get his page shut down you know what just, i would have showed it just now but i thought about it obviously my youtube will get in danger but um 
I feel like he should be in trouble for posting it, but he posted it on his live Instagram videos. And I think he showed it briefly enough for them to like not notice it. But people that screenshot it, you clearly could see it's a penis, right? You saw mm -hmm. it. I sent it to her. I sent it to her. So we saw that infestation penis. Infestate infested eggplant. Oh, we're not getting any smell. Good. I'm just ill. I just said infested eggplant. Ew. I'll never think about an eggplant the same again. Never. Who posted their dick picture? It's not bad. Oh, they took it down. Of course he took it down. That's that's why you didn't get the tag. You didn't take it down. How the fuck did it not get to you? Hey guys, now I really want you to take a good look at this post right here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and read it. It basically says putting me and my son's life at risk over a logo with four question marks. Satan in the flesh, where it looks like five exclamation points. And then someone named Sephora C jumps in and says, Tasha, what the F is wrong with you? You think this is cute? You look so stupid. Please take your meds and get the help that you need. Sometimes I think we all need to take that advice if we truly need medication and need help. There's some people disconnected out here spiritually, and I think if they just find a personal relationship with whomever their God is, because a lot of people said they're godly and have a higher power, but still act like Satan in the flesh, okay? Now, as we move forward in this next segment, you are going to hear some disturbing things come out of Sweet Ma's, Sweet Ma's mouth referring to a child. Okay. Like other people, Buckle I'm up a fucking for this, guys, because I couldn't believe it. Person, I'm not. You think I'm not this is cute? Like other people, I'm you a look fucking so stupid. Person, Please take your meds person, and get the help that you need. Don't you look now, like a I demon? I would encourage anybody that you need help or demon, take meds right? to do that. Do it that accordingly. The Bible says, "In all things, do it unto the glory of the Lord." So there's no shame in the kingdom of God. But the baby needs help, though. Who can mentally this child, their mind this child who was born in their, in their camp, those who have bad mental health. Yeah, he was supposed to be born in January. He was born state. almost so, a month ago. You know, and he's living uh, in the jungle I, I with them. Listen to this next and segment like, as we go forward really because there's some now. very, very, very he's a preemie. things that He came out three months three months before he was supposed to come out. And they don't they don't go to doctors. There's a petition out to get those babies out of that damn freaking place. Disgusting, ain't it? About the baby dying, though. Yeah, the poor babies. And you guys, I'm going to say it on video now. I'm not wishing this on her. There's another woman that is pregnant right now by Nature Boy. I have a feeling that she's going to die during birth. God forgive me. I'm not saying it out my mouth for it to happen. This is just what's in my thoughts. I've been thinking about it for a minute. And I feel like something's going to happen to her when she has that baby. Either something's going to happen to her or the baby. Period. Mm. Now, I'm just inserting another post here that's going on on Instagram. And basically, guys, if you have the wisdom and the wherewithal and the insight from God to speak these kind of things over people's lives, then do it in a way where it speaks life and not death into them. And if you're just out here calling things that be not as though they were, then what goes around comes around. And karma is a mug. Karma is a hell of a drug. Let's ask Sweet Ma how she feels about this. Karma is a motherfucking bitch, ho. I don't wish that on her. Shit. Look what happened to me and my son. I thought my son was going to be a healthy baby. Everything was going to be great. And then a tragic thing happened. And now I have to deal with um, the life changes. That's it. But I love my baby. Of course. 
and found out she was pregnant. But anyways, guys, Nature Boy looks so much like my nephew, who's a narc as well. Mm -hmm. He's also into this fake woke conscious movement. Damn, narcs are clones of each other. They really today. are. See, he kind of stopped. Anyway, um, I basically lost everything dealing with this guy. And um, after he left me, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. This is the seventh time your ass left me. Now I'm five months pregnant. Fuck it. Go. He told me he just needed to stay at my house for three more weeks so he could save up money and get his own apartment. You want the baby to do his own life? My baby? Um, yeah, so I finally said, you know what, fuck it. Every time he leaves me, something bad happens to him, and then he always needs me. He always needs my help. So this time, you guys, this is going to be real juicy. Let me tell you what happened real quick. So the seventh time or eighth or tenth time he decided to leave me, he got my family involved, and he told my family, I don't care what you say, I don't want to be with her. And he was Muslim, so what he does is, like, he said that we were married or whatever. We did, like, this whole marriage thing. As a Muslim, if you divorce your wife the third time, you can't be with her no more. That's that's it. It's against the religion, right? You love listening to the baby breathe. <laughs> He's stuffy. I'm just rubbing his butt. Um, I'll let you guys see him in a second. After mommy stops talking her dry ass mouth. I swear I wish I had a freaking wine. Today's wine down Friday. I'm, I should put that as a title. See if I get sued. <laughs> I wonder if I could sip wine on this camera. And not get in trouble. Anyways. So. The, this dude decides that he's going to leave me. And I say you know what fuck it. I don't even care anymore. Like I'm tired of this. This dude is such a weirdo. Honestly, he sounds like a woman had roots on him. Sounds like he loved you, but had a spell put on him. You think so? I don't know. Brittany Chanel, can you tell her sweet ma take him in the uh, bathroom with the shower running? Oh, I should do that? Okay. That'll help him? Okay. You want to see, Baba? Okay. So, anyway... Let him sit up. This is my miracle baby, y'all. If anybody wants to talk shit about a baby, I swear to God, I'll fly out to you and fucking whoop your fucking ass. Especially you if you talk about mine. I don't night. give a fuck. You ain't do that to Tasha. I go last under the jail night. and I'll tell them to let me take my baby with me. You try me with my baby. Anyways, it's okay, Bubba. You're not. Listen, you might think that I did some kind of spell on him. You might think I did some kind of spell on Amir's dad. Now, guys, there is speculation that there's witches on YouTube and in life, okay? It doesn't matter what you know, it's what you believe. And in some things, I don't believe in, and that's why it doesn't take effect on me. And I would encourage you to get the same way. But there is talk about people out here using crystals and witchcraft and voodoo to harm people. And that's a whole nother video. Stay tuned. In this segment coming up, guys, you're going to hear from the ex-boyfriend. This video was done by Seven Stars. Uh, excuse me. This interview was done by Seven Stars and Tasha K. Please listen very closely. Thank you. And I told her this was going to happen. When I was like, I said, you know what? You want to, you want to, you get, you get me dirty for this dude? I can't wait to see the end result. And look, look what happens. You get her dirty. You get her filthy. I think you got somebody else pregnant while she was pregnant. Come as a motherfucking bitch, ho. And, oh, yeah. And you went in, you went in, uh, befriended her and then took her husband, basically. You know what I'm saying? And then, had to learn, if you look at her YouTube, she talks about it. Like, but she manipulates what really went, was going on to her viewers. But if anybody had any type of intellect, they would see that history. Like, you're calling somebody that, that, uh, 
that was married, like you, you're attacking somebody that was married, and you the one that took her. Like I don't understand how you attack her mm-hmm. on your YouTube. Like you the one that took her husband. I don't get it. But it's crazy. Like it's a lot to the story. Like, and next thing you know, she start messing with him. So she stabbed her in the back, stabbed me in the back. Um. I didn't know that until I came home on social media. I seen I seen them together and found out she was pregnant. Come as a motherfucking bitch, ho. I came home. She tried to she tried to after having a baby with with with, with this dude was a good friend of mine. Like we was brothers. Like after having a baby with him, she thought she could try to talk to me after that. Like that's how crazy she is. And they played the victim. Well, let me ask you a question. That baby that she had in the video, is that the baby? That's the baby. Yeah. Come as a motherfucking bitch, ho. Yeah. Mm. Fucking a married man. A married man. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. That was like, it's crazy. Like, that was like, I hate to say it, but that's kind of like, come as a motherfucking bitch, ho. Sweet Mike's really sensitive when it comes to her son understandably so so she went off so- for more of this video that was deleted i have it well some of it anyway sweet ma has the rest um okay so if you guys didn't see the title of this video i i wanted to talk about another youtuber that i believe is a narcissist i'm not done with uh i was gonna say soldier boy nature boy <laughs> I'm not done. I'm, I was gonna say that. I'm not done with Tasha K. I'm not done with these mother effers. When I'm done, you'll know that I'm done. Tasha K just did something that pissed me off. PK. Live right now, guys. Um, I need your help. I need your help. Um, Tasha K put my government information on all of her platforms. All of her platforms. All of her Instagram posts. Um, uh, she took it down on YouTube. She took it down on YouTube. Okay? Um, hey, this looks like I need your support. Hurry shit. up, get in the room. I need your support. I need your support. <laughs> okay. Um, she put my government information on her YouTube, but she took it down and said that her husband made her take it down. She went back onto Instagram, reposted it on all of her Instagram pages, saying that she she this was a mistake she reposted it like this is a repost and she's going in on me and all because i used her trademark in my my video carl c i need your help you guys i feel like my life is at risk my safety is at risk because i made a video about tasha k i need help don't tell me to shush call the police what do you mean shush she's putting my my personal my personal information all because I made a video regurgitating the shit that she already says? You're mad because of that? I need help. This makes absolutely no sense that somebody would be trying to ruin my fucking life over me reposting videos that comes out of her fucking mouth. You guys, help me go to her Instagram, flag those posts with my name on it. Not she has happen. over 400,000 subscribers. Not gonna happen. Bitch, it's a wrap for you. Look, this is like okay. Where would she I don't, be? I don't know why this is showing. Thank you so much, Mona. Thank you for coming. I, I just listen. It is not okay for somebody to take your personal information and post it online, oh, what's wrong, knowing Diane? that she has all these followers. Do you think this is normal? Diane. Is this normal? And she says that I have a mental illness. Why? I have a mental illness because I was smart enough to keep track of all the lies and repost the lies. Are you that upset? Diane. With the truth that now my life has to be at risk. Anybody that's watching this live right now, if any harm comes to me or my son, Latasha Kibi, that lives in Atlanta, Georgia, is at fault. Latasha Kibi, if anything happens to me, if anything happens to me, you are the one who's at fault. Mm-hmm. Remember that. You're lying. You're saying that I caused or, or I'm praying for the death of your child. Are you ridiculous? You made up this whole story because you probably want to use that 
at a later time to say that you lost your child because of me calling me a witch. Now you're posting this shit on, on all your platforms when you didn't even fucking post the, the, the freaking fund relief on either of the platforms. But now you're posting my personal information knowing that I have a fucking son and you're talking about, oh, wait, wait till I run out of disability checks. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you don't need to be on YouTube. If you're going to be doing shit like that and causing people this much stress, you're mad because I reposted shit that you said? No, baby, now my life is at risk? Fuck off of YouTube, cry baby ass. This shit makes no sense. Yes, I inserted myself into this shit. I did. Exactly. Who else? Who? Listen, who else went that thorough with breaking the shit down? Who else did it? I had to do it. Why? Because I'm trying to open your eyes. So if I have to die over some fucking fuck shit like this, that's what God wants. Don't think that, don't think that the power you think that you have is going to, 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 I I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm I'm just going to go, y'all. I just want to let you guys know that if anything happens to me, she's at fault. She put my information out there. She's at fault. The end. (laughs) <laughs> all right guys she's contacting the authorities what i really want to know is who's satan in the flesh tasha k just did something um with the did i did i tell you about what we were talking about earlier yeah okay she did something stupid so yes that means i gotta talk about her again why because that's what i do okay yeah. This post right here, y'all, says basically that Sweet Ma is acting like the narcissist she project on everyone else. Dirty boy, yeah. Bro, okay. And I'm not done with Nature <laughs> Boy either. I, I wrote him and I told him he better block me or I'm, because I'm going to keep talking shit. This man is disgusting. He showed his penis on his Instagram live. I'm not done with those oh mother That efforts. is ridiculous. Hold on. Let me Today, I, I, I want to talk about Queen Naja and Clarence NYC. Now, really? Really, bitch? Really? Because I'm not fake. I can't fake. And I decided to come with this video to expose myself since they think that they're doing something by exposing me. Sweet Ma for Life is exposing Tasha K. Sweet Ma for Life does not fuck with Tasha K. Sweet Ma for Life does not like her period and yes i was trying to get her video taken down but her platform no i could have took her instagram page down she took both of my exposing tasha k pages down i could have did that Sorry if i'm talking super loud but i never flagged tasha k i'm not trying to ruin your platform i'm just trying to expose the fucking truth you want to sit here and expose people with lies i'm exposing you with the truth with your own truth that comes out your own fucking mouth was pointing out the shit that she did okay period point blank so back to the bullshit i mean because i'm exposing the truth the fuck out of here and if you think for one fucking moment if you fucking think that you could read me better than i could read any of y'all motherfucking bitches you got the wrong motherfucking one have you not paid attention to my videos on tasha k I will fucking get all the information that I need to on your motherfucking ass and make you shut the fuck up. And Sweet Ma is contacting the authorities now, y'all. Some people that came out with some videos about me that have been very, very, very painful for me to watch. But guess what? I was respectful to them. I don't fuck with Tasha K. I made that fucking page. Do I fucking tell people to fucking flag her page? No. People were hitting me up in the inbox telling me, let's start a movement. Let's shut her down. I never fucking flagged the bitch. She could do what the fuck she do. You want to talk about disabled people. You want to talk about shit like that, bitch. I don't fuck with you. I don't rock with you. Bitch! 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 Pay attention. The group of people that I rock with. Mona. Nayra. Bitter and Sweet. Camille. Am I embarrassed to admit that I like Tracy? No. You're going to look stupid as fuck. (laughs) You're going to look dumb. You talking shit about me? Bitch, it stays in my head. Don't fuck with me. If you make a video and you try to insinuate that I'm a fucked up individual, bitch, stay the fuck off my channel. I dare that bitch to make a video about me. Do you think that you're going to be trending because you talk about Sweet Ma for Life? 
You got it. You got you got it. You got it. I'm not gonna say the bitch's name. That's it. So guys, I did say that I was gonna keep this short. This is shorter than the so-called four-hour live that Tasha K said that I did when my son was supposedly coughing when he was not coughing. Okay? My son ended up falling asleep on my lap and he was congested. But this bitch wanted to spin the narrative, her favorite word. Spin the narrative and tell everybody I was on live for four hours roasting, roasting her dumb ass. Bitch, I wasn't roasting you for fuck four hours. Shit, the fuck out of here. I was talking about my, what up, Destiny? I was over here talking about my personal life and how I fucking met a, a terrible fucking narcissist. And yes, I mentioned you a couple of times, but bitch, if you calculate it, it was probably within my three hour live, I probably mentioned you for about 20 minutes put together. So don't, don't be that gassed up, dummy. But you want to spin your narrative and make me look like a fucking psycho. No, bitch, I'm not a psycho. I'm a nice, uh, I'm a narc slayer. I don't fuck with narcs. If you're a narc, fuck out of here. That's why you don't like me. Anybody that I don't rock with me is because you can't. You can't see past the light. It's too bright for you, bitch. It's too bright. Actually doing this for me. Um, but I will say, be original, bitch. Said she knows that my son has a disability, a severe. He, he's not even autistic. I would take my child being autistic over the disability that he has. And she knew that. And you wanted to bring my fucking son up after I made a video three months ago. Where he was congested and you want to talk about buy him some fucking cough syrup. I'm not going to go deeper into this because I'm about to cry. Not cry because I'm emotional. Cry because I want to fucking knock the bitch out. So I'm going to stop right here. You guys, I will show you proof on how the conversation started. The only reason that me and her went back and forth and my son was brought up was because I brought up lovely T um, sickle cell comment that she made that I felt was offensive. I said, you already made fun of a, this, uh, a, a autistic child. Now you're making fun of your ex-friend that has sickle cell? And I said, you must be Satan in the flesh. And that's how me and her went back and forth. And she said, well, that's just the same as you not taking care of your sick child. Of course that's going to fucking piss me the fuck off. I, she didn't have to say disabled child. Because she fucking knew my son was disabled. Want to know why? Because she tuned into my fucking live. You tuned into my live that didn't even have your name in the title. Why the fuck were you watching my live? It didn't even say your name. I didn't even use you as a tag in that shit. So how the fuck did you know I was even talking about you? He was coughing for four hours. Guess what? But you made me look real bad, Tasha. You made me look real bad when you put that long story on your community feed talking about how such a terrible mother I am and how my baby was coughing for four hours on my lap, right? He was coughing for four hours. Guess what? You go back to my live. I'll tell you, it was almost three months ago. My son was breathing funny because he was congested, but he was congested for about two, three days. There's nothing I could do about that. There was nothing I could do about that. But at least I had my son on my lap, bitch. And I was doing, like I used to have to ask my aunt, can you uh, keep Amir just for a couple of hours? So I'm trying to get all this uh, Star Marie information. I'm trying to do this. And I said, damn, I'm taking away from my fucking family because I'm worried about Star Marie, Cardi B, and Tasha K. So I'm not that type of person that will stop fucking with you yeah. because you fuck with somebody else. I don't do that. gonna get fired for my job <laughs> I'm probably gonna get fired they probably think I'm crazy like the car has been running for like two hours <laughs> from a lot of you guys I do but you know when you get support from somebody that you you hurt or somebody you did something to it means like it's different you know so thank you very much 
And I, I fucking wish that I could just delete this live, but I don't give a fuck. Like, this is what you call transparent, right? Man, this is what you call, what Tasha K calls transparent. <laughs> I, I suggest all of you guys stop talking about her because one thing a narcissist does, this wasn't to get sympathy for you guys. I appreciate you guys. God bless you. So everything that they're doing, they're just throwing it on you. Jeff, you remember when me and Tasha went back and forth mm -hmm. over my mothering skills? Let me tell you something. This whole entire thing started off because she was making fun of Lovely T, her so-called friend, for being a codeine fiend and having sickle cell. So I went back and forth with her talking about, you talk about disabled children. Yeah. And she had the nerve to say that it's the same thing as me not taking care of my sick child. So you already know, I went bonkers. Yeah, of course. We going back and forth and I said, don't you dare mention my miracle. And she kept ticking, ticking, ticking. Poking a bear, poking a bear, <laughs> like she says, poking a bear. Poking a bear. You know what? Let, let me just, Let's just share these receipts. Yeah, exactly. The beef started off of me hopping into Sean Bradley's chat, telling him to watch out for Tasha K. She starts making fun of Lovely T sickle cell, and I kind of went off. Next minute, you know, she brought up my son. Here to give me a hundred dollars for what? Why you give me a hundred dollars for my Amir? For me to buy my son some cough syrup? Huh? My son wasn't coughing on that live, bitch. Girl. And when that bitch came into my <laughs> chat that didn't even have her name in the title and decided to donate me $130 to my son and said, go buy him some cough syrup. <laughs> but you gave it back though, right? Listen, I went to go give that her money back. And can you believe before my entire life was over, she took the 100 back? Yeah, cause she I cannot say that I've mastered this because I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And as I go, I have to give credit to those who post videos on YouTube that are educating us on narcissism. And for my people that watch me for other things, like, you know, my videos were all over the place already. So like, for my people that watch me for other things other than narcissism, please forgive me for constantly uploading videos about this subject, this topic, whatever. But it is something that you need to know for yourself as well. Whether you want to give me a chance and like hear me out is up to you. But I'm putting the information out there if you want to. That's up to you. So, all right. If you want to beat the narcissist, if you want to win, this is what you do. It's very simple. So simple that you would say to yourself, why didn't I think of this myself? You ever remember that game, Opposite? They used to have the Opposites Day and everything like that. It's similar. You do the opposite of. I'm not even going to use that as an example. I'm not. Let's get straight to the point. A narcissist will treat you like shit, right? They feel like you're giving them way too much attention, too much emotion, um, too much affection. Once you take that away from them, the same things that they complain about, you're giving too much affection, take it away. Showing too much emotion, block that shit out. You're not showing no emotion. You call too much, stop calling. You do the opposite of what the narc complains about. You do the opposite of what the narc requires of you. And then you will see them start to 
to pleat. <laughs> it's it's very simple, but at the same time, it's like <laughs> it's comical to me. I had a narcissist that mistreated me to the point where I was questioning myself like damn am I am I crazy am I a stalker am I too emotional I, I was feeling like I was a problem because think about it the relationship before this narcissist I had the same problem the one before that I had a similar problem the one before that person was treating me the same way. Little did I realize at that time was that I attracted narcissistic men. That's it. I even attracted narcissistic women. And I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to share that with you guys, but one day I will. I don't know. One day. But I attract narcissistic people period in my life whether they're lovers or friends or whatever I attract narcs it's almost as if I have a sign on my forehead that says welcome welcome come fuck with me come try to ruin my life no that's not what I want I want a normal relationship I want a normal friendship I want to be treated the way that I treat others and when I meet a narc, initially what they do is they mimic me. They mimic me and my actions and my, my, um, what's the word? My, everything. Basically, like if I'm giving, they're giving. If I do this, they do that. If I love to listen to old school music, they love to listen to old school music. Narcs know how to get to you. Once they get to you, you get to know their true colors and, and you see their true colors and that's when we're just fucked. Excuse my language. What I was trying to say in this video was um, basically to defeat a narcissist is to ignore a narcissist. And why do you think that she's going so hard for Lovely T? Lovely T is not paying her no fucking mind. Again, folks, this shows this post right here that Sweet Ma is saying that she acts more of a narcissist than Tasha K. And I want you to go on and hear her take on um, Khalees and Nas. And I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Thank you. They use it to fool people. So who, who is the narc? Who and truly is the narc? What do you think? I'm still saying Khalees is an empath. Tough one. I'm waiting for Nas's response. If he ever has one, I'm going to listen to both sides and then figure it out. It doesn't even matter because they're not in my life anyway. And I'm trying to stay away from narcs, stay narc free. And I noticed that a lot of people that I've told about narcissism and brought awareness to them are constantly screaming empath, posting on social media. They're an empath when it truly they are narcissists. So once a narcissist knows what narcissism is, they're going to use it to fool you to make you think that they're not. Peace. Alright guys, I want to show you how good God really is. There was a strike on this video, Sweet Ma. Um, seven stars slayed you, but I'm about to resurrect you. And by the grace of God, that uh, flag came off. I guess it was for um, age restriction. And also, I went to Sweet Ma's, one of her um, videos, and I posted a quote basically asking her, Is there any more victims? <laughs> out here that she may have been accusing of being a narcissist thank you so much for watching this video god bless you hit that uh subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it so that we can continue to discuss situations like this and make videos that enlighten all of us god bless shalom